So bacon and donuts do grow on trees. Also ahead on this episode, we get slimed, we strike gold, and we also score ourselves some diamonds. Ahead on this episode of Sky Factory 4. All right, it is the dawn of a new day here in our Sky Factory 4 world. Hello, my name's Luke, and uh, we're ready to get started into a whole bunch more action here to complete out our advancement roadmap. So let's check back into where we were last episode. We have just finished off the lead advancements, and we've got our redstone and our lapis now. So ahead on the schedule for today, we should be able to complete pretty much all of this, I think. So we're going to be getting into growing some slime trees. So we're going to need some slimy dirt and uh, some slime saplings. And then we're going to look at getting our gold. So gold, amber, and gold saplings, silver, onto diamond to complete that part of the tree. And then to wrap things up, we're gonna be looking at putting a couple of fun trees together. We've got a bacon tree and we've got a donut tree. So yeah, super fun times. This is gonna be great. Um, so since uh, last episode, I've just uh, taken the liberty of uh, using some of those extra fence posts and just chucking them up around the base. Um, just, you know, means that nothing's gonna drop off by accident, including me. So why the heck not? Um, I've also expanded out our tree growing area. So we've got a whole bunch of extra bonsai pots ready to go for today's new saplings. Uh, so there's uh, six new ones here. Um, there are only five main sapling types that we're going to create today from the advancement tree. But there is another type which I'm going to grow, which is part of that, uh, that sort of step by step to get a couple of the others. Um, because we will use it later and it's going to come in quite handy. I've also taken the liberty of planting some of the, uh, the apple saplings and the dark oak saplings that we had before just because they're going to come in handy so it never hurts to have some extra apple bits around and dark oak I love dark oak as a building material I just think that the the darker colored wood looks fantastic and uh, I mean ultimately this has served our purpose pretty well in the early stages of uh, building out our advancement tree I mean our base is looking pretty good we've got our areas set up nicely and we're certainly not running out of space yet but we will be soon and I really want to redecorate and redesign everything but the one thing I'm waiting for before we do that is to unlock the chisel. Um, I particularly want to build a diamond chisel, which will give us a good range of different ways that we can carve up uh, some of our cobblestone blocks and things like that. Um, so that'll be a, a sort of a, a next step after finishing the base, basic advancement tree. I think we'll we'll do a complete redesign of the base and uh, set ourselves up for some of the more advanced stuff that we're going to be getting onto in the future. So uh, yeah, apart from that, our uh, livestock's going well. Our uh, crops are going well. Let's get stuck into today's list of tasks. So. I think we can start with the uh, the slime tree. So um, looking at obtaining a blue slime sapling and some green slime dirt. Now the green slime dirt is pretty essential because you can't grow slime saplings in regular dirt. You actually need to plant them on slime dirt. Um, so we'll need to craft the, the slime dirt before we can actually start replicating the uh, the blue slime saplings. So um, the sapling itself is pretty straightforward. We can go into JEI and have a look for, for that now. So. Uh, we've got three different types of slime saplings. We're just going to start with the blue one today. Uh, the others will come at a more advanced stage later. So a blue slime sapling, pretty straightforward. We just need to get a lapis sapling and then chuck it into a cauldron full of milk. And that creates our blue slime sapling. Now, um, that is really straightforward now because we have our buckets and we have our cows. So we can just wander straight up to our cow here, fill our bucket up full of milk, Chuck it in the cauldron, well, once it's empty that is. So let's just empty that out, whoops. Knock it down, chuck it back up. All right, there we go, and fill this thing full of milk. Fantastic. And then just get ourselves a lapis sapling. And that is what we're gonna use to create our slime sapling. Yes, it does take a full cauldron of milk in order to create that slime sapling. So we might actually just repeat that twice so that we've got two to get started with. And uh, there we go, a couple of slime saplings, fantastic. We don't need these extra saplings, they can go away. All right, well that was pretty straightforward. Slime saplings are already done. Now, in order to get the green slimy dirt, this is where things get a little bit more interesting. So um, let's do a quick search for that. So slimy dirt. Now there's different types of slimy dirt that we can actually unlock later on throughout the uh, prestige tree uh, sort of uh, stages, um, which are better for growing various different crops in, in the bonsai pots. Um, but we just want the basic green slimy dirt for now. 
And uh, we actually need cactus to make green slimy dirt. So we're gonna have to put cactus in milk, similar to what we just did a second ago for the, uh, the blue lapis saplings to get the slimy saplings, but we need cactus this time. Now, cactus is a tricky one. We can actually get cactus from creating a market and doing some trading, but we're not gonna do that today. I'm gonna leave that to a little bit more of the advanced stuff. The other way to get cactus is quite simply by growing it from seed. So if we look for cactus seeds, you'll see that the way we can get cactus seeds besides getting it from cactus itself is actually on a grindstone. If we take sand and grind it up on a grindstone, we actually can get cactus seeds. Now grindstone, as it happens, is a pretty easy thing to build. It's just stone and a stick, and we can easily do that. So uh, can we make that with cobblestone? No, I think it has to be actual regular stone. So we need six regular stone, which I can uh, chuck in the furnace right now. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, well, one too many. There we go. Six stone in the furnace, and we've got our stick already as well. So we'll create that grindstone and uh, chuck some sand in that in just a moment. Um, but in the meantime, we're gonna need somewhere to grow that cactus. So looking back over to our crop area here, um, I think we'll set up the cactus. Um, let's, well, actually create a bit of space. So I wanna get some, uh, some sugar cane going shortly as well. So let's actually, what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a bit of space to put some sand down, but I don't wanna use regular sand. I'm actually gonna create a special kind of sand, which is better and faster for growing these sorts of crops called, creatively named, SNAD. So if we go and look up SNAD on JEI, you'll see, there we go, sand and where is SNAD? Hang on, I've actually spelt SNAD incorrectly by typing sand, so. There we go, snad. Now there's two types. You've got the red snad and you've got the, the regular snad. And it's just two blocks of sand on top of each other. Um, and it creates the snad. So very, very straightforward. Think of it as like a concentrated sand that's great for growing stuff. Um, so I'm gonna create, uh, we'll go with maybe six blocks of, of snad. So we're gonna need 12 blocks of sand for that. Yep, that's fantastic. So let's just do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we don't need the extras, we'll put that back. Okay, so we've got our snad. We can put that down. Um, I'm just gonna chuck it down here and we'll put the, oh no, of course. Silly me, we actually need to put some, uh, some stuff underneath so that the sand doesn't just drop straight through. So, rookie mistake on my part. Let's chuck that in now. We are actually gonna need those two last blocks of sand after all. Put that in there, create our snad, and there we go. All right, those last bits are ready. Okay, so that's covered. Good, so we will need a couple of blocks of snad next to the water because we're gonna put sugar cane in those. Um, the cactus or cacti, we can just put at the back. Um, we should make, might make that three. Yeah, we'll make that three, right? We'll go, we'll go a little bit more, I think, because uh, we're gonna have to space the cacti out anyway. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six and just create another three blocks of snad. And that should give us enough to do what we need. Fantastic, all right. So we've divided that neatly in half. We've got our, our cacti and our, uh, our sugar cane growing area. And now we can grab our stone from the furnace, put it onto the crafting grid, chuck it down like that with a single stick and there is our grindstone, fantastic. Okay, um, grindstone. I think I might just chuck that in front of the cauldron there. We don't need too much space to operate that. Um, and we need some more sand to actually grind on that grindstone and get those cactus seeds. So we're gonna, whoops, place it on top. We actually wanna put it on the grindstone. So there we go, all right. So we've got seven stand on the grindstone. Now to pull that back off the grindstone, we just hold shift and, uh, and tap it to pull it off. But in the meantime, we can grind it and then we'll get our cactus seeds. So you can see grinding 80%, there we go. And the seeds are coming off the top there. So we'll only just do it a couple of times. We don't need, no, actually maybe three. We'll go three cactus seeds. And there we go. Fantastic, we've got our cactus seeds. And uh, I might just, with an open hand, grab that sand back off as well. All right, so cactus seeds, we can put these down. Uh, cactus needs a bit of space to grow, so we're just gonna put it at the rear there. And there is actually a little bit of a trick with this. You can actually make the cactus grow a lot faster than it normally would by using a little trick with a lever to uh, send a pulse through the snad blocks. So uh, we're just gonna create a really simple lever 
with a stick and a piece of cobblestone. And uh, we're gonna just open that up. Oh, I'm taking damage from the cactus, that's not good. All right, so I'm gonna put the lever down just on the side here. Uh, well, there we go. And if we operate that repeatedly, you'll see the cacti are actually growing. It's sending a pulse up through the snad block to update the block and actually grow that cacti for us, which is fantastic. Now, cacti in Sky Factory 4 grow a hell of a lot taller than regular cacti in Minecraft. Um, and you'll find the same thing with the sugarcane as well. Um, the cacti do have a height limit. I think it might be up to about 32 blocks, um, but the sugarcane can actually go right up to the build limit, which is just nuts. So uh, that's fantastic. We are gonna leave that as it is for now because we're not actually going to, uh, to need any more cacti than that. Uh, we'll just chop down what we've got on top there to give us a, a bunch to pick up. There we go. Uh, chuck that snad block back down just to fill up that space. There we go. And we've got all the cacti that we need. And that'll give us some green dye. That'll give us the cacti we need to create the slimy dirt and uh, anything else that we might need that for later on. So once again, let's grab some milk from these cows, fill up our cauldron. This time we've got the cacti, so we can put that in there to grab our slimy dirt. So we've just unlocked the advancement. I've been slimed and bing, bang, boom. We've got the blue slime saplings. We've got the slimy dirt. And uh, we're gonna just repeat that one more time so that we've got two blocks of slimy dirt to put in the bonsai pots. And then we are done with the beginning production of our slime farm. All right, so. I've got a space over here set up already to put in slime dirt instead of regular dirt. So let's chuck that in there. We've got our green slimy dirt. Looks like a bit of a moss actually. And we'll put our blue slime saplings in there and we can start to grow our slime saplings. Fantastic. So slime saplings are great. They'll grow in the same way as our regular saplings. And uh, when we harvest these, we actually get solid congealed blocks of slime, which we can then break down into to slime balls later on um, for anything that we need to, to use that for. So that's good. That's awesome. That is off and going. So next on the list, we have gold and silver. So this is gonna be following a similar system to what we did before with regards to creating the amber blocks and then putting the amber blocks in the melter and melting that down and uh, pouring it over saplings to get our gold and silver. Um, and uh, I believe these are actually just made using a combination of the different resins that we've got already. So let's just check that. We need uh, gold amber. Gold amber we can create by using yellow coloring. And we've got iron resin, lead resin, and sand resin. So uh, the yellow coloring is super easy for us because we already grabbed a bunch of that last episode when we started throwing bone meal down onto our, uh, our grassy blocks because we managed to get ourselves a stack of dandelions. And dandelions, of course, are going to give us our yellow coloring. Fantastic. So uh, we probably only need one, actually. We only need to create one block of... Uh, of the gold amber, we don't have to go more than that at this stage. Um, so we'll just grab our other resins and put our block of amber together and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, boom, we've got our gold amber. So one shiny boy advancement has been unlocked and uh, we're gonna put that in the melter now to melt that down and uh, pour that over the sapling we need for the gold sapling. So let's just check back in on that again. So uh, going back to our JEI lookup for gold sapling, where are we? Gold sapling. Now we actually need to pull that over an oak sapling. Now fortunately we have those already. So we can go into our stores here, grab a single oak sapling piece of cake. Actually I might grab two because that's gonna create two ingots worth of gold actually. Two ingots worth, it's gonna create three, isn't it? So we might go another couple. Um, and we can repeat that a few times and just use up all of that gold. So uh, there we go. Oak sapling, that is now filled with two ingots worth of gold. All right, so we'll do two. Pour that over the top of the oak sapling and watch as that turns before our eyes into gold. Fantastic. So we'll take that spare back for now. All right, great, there we go. That is our gold sapling, brilliant. And we'll just repeat that once more while we wander over here and, uh, and plant the thing. So uh, gold sapling, I think I'll, uh, I'll start off our 
Actually, I'll put it close to the iron one because we're going to be getting a, a fair bit of golden iron as time goes on. So uh, there we go. We've got our gold sapling growing there. We'll be able to continually harvest that and chuck all of the, the gold bits down into that chest. And uh, that'll be the way that we'll continue making gold resin to melt down to create more blocks of gold. Fantastic. Speaking of blocks of things, we've been going pretty hard on the iron. Um, I've got actually quite a, a stack of iron ingots in my inventory now. And uh, we're not going to let that up because uh, iron, again, is something we're going to be needing a whole bunch of as time goes on. So let's keep that uh, pouring down into the casting basin and creating iron blocks for us to, to make into the ingots. Um, all right, so gold out of the way. Let's move on to our next task, which is getting into the silver. So silver amber, again, we're going to look that up. And silver amber requires us to put together some petrified resin, some lead resin. We need some tin resin. We've got all of those, but now we need some light gray dye. Mm. Light gray dye is a little trickier. So light gray dye we can make out of bone meal and uh, something that's black in color. We've got the bone meal, of course. Now the black bit is a little trickier. So we don't have any ink sacks. We can actually create a market and try and get some ink sacks or try and uh, uh, farm squid if we want to you know, create like a dark water area. But instead of messing around with all of that, we can actually create a black coloring by pulverizing coal or charcoal. And uh, in order to pulverize that material, we can actually, once again, use the grindstone that we've just created. So all we need is a block of coal, chuck it on the grindstone, and we can create pulverized coal. So there we go. We've got a block of coal. Um, so I'll just create, should we go one of those? We'll just go one of those. Okay. So uh, chuck the coal down onto the grindstone. There we go. Hold it down, grind it down into pulverized coal. Shouldn't take too long at all. Grind, grind, grind. There we go, we have our pulverized coal. Piece of cake, so now we just need to grab those different types of resin that we needed. So we need our lead resin, petrified resin, and tin resin. So lead resin is over at the front here. So we need two, three, four of those. I can't remember actually, what was it? We need four of one of them. It was four of the petrified resin, that's right. All right, so we'll put the extra two back. So we need four petrified resin, which we can find right here. One, two, three, four. And the last one I think was tin. So we need some tin resin as well. So let's grab that from our tin trees, which I think are here. Yep, there we go. One, two. All right, fantastic. We have everything we need now to create our silver amber, uh, except for the light gray. Die, which of course we just need a couple of bits of bone meal to complete the recipe for that. So, all right, back onto that. We have our light gray dye, which we can make now. And then we go back and we create our silver amber. Piece of cake. Okay, there's our second gold sapling. Now we're gonna put our silver amber in here to melt down, which is now emptied of all of the gold. So there's our silver amber. Now we do need to pour the molten silver onto a particular type of sapling. So let's have a look at that again. We've got silver saplings. We need to put that onto a mineral sapling. Now mineral, this is new. This is a new kind of sapling and this is going to be the extra one that we're actually going to plant in the bonsai pots and make a whole bunch of because it's gonna come in handy a little bit later into the advanced game when we start to manufacture things like like rubber and plastic. So mineral saplings, we actually can create by getting a lapis sapling and putting it in a cauldron full of water. So pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward. Mineral saplings as it happens actually look really, really good too. So if you want to once again, create that fantastic looking colorful garden, um, I highly recommend doing a bit of a combination if uh, you want to do like a blue color theme of some of the lapis and uh, mineral saplings together because they look really good. So let's uh, grab three of those. Uh, two of them for the mineral area that we're going to create and one of them to actually make into the other sapling we need to pour over. So let's grab the lapis. There we go. Bang, bang, bang. We have mineral saplings. We're going to plant a couple of those mineral saplings. Uh, let's do it over here actually. We'll put the mineral saplings there and we'll put the diamond in the middle. Uh, did that do it? No, we need one more. There we go. All right, so mineral saplings are growing. We can put the third one that we created onto the casting table there. And now that we've got molten silver, 
we can pour that straight over the top. Actually, I think I'm going to make one more of those mineral saplings just while we're waiting. So we've got a tiny bit of water left there, and we're going to want a second silver sapling anyway to get rid of the rest of that silver from the casting table. So there we go. We've got our silver spoon advancement, and we'll create a second one just for good measure. Okay, so that was pretty straightforward. We now have the silver surfer advancement done for the amber, and we've got the silver spoon advancement done for the silver sapling. We are pretty much ready to move on to diamond. This is really exciting. So we're going to be able to create more diamond than you could possibly imagine in the vanilla Minecraft game. There's no need to mine down near bedrock for this stuff anymore. We can simply just grow it out of trees and uh, make as much of it as we could possibly want. So in order to create diamond, we are going to need a diamond sapling. So diamond saplings, as it happens, we can create very, very simply. All we need is a redstone sapling. We need a couple of bits of gold resin. We need a lapis resin piece and we need a silver resin piece. So that's going to require us to do a little bit of farming of our recently planted silver and gold trees. So uh, I'm going to get busy with that and uh, we'll be right back. Alrighty, we've got our gold resin, our lapis resin, our silver resin, and our redstone saplings. So, we now have everything we need for diamond saplings. One, and let's create a second one as well. Two, diamond saplings, fantastic. So these diamond saplings are gonna go right into those bonsai pots that I have previously set up. Um, actually, what are we gonna do here? We've got silver, we've got mineral, I might actually plant them. Let's go and get rid of that apple tree for now. We can add those again later when we need to. So just get rid of those and we're gonna chuck our diamond saplings in here. So we need to reorganize our tree situation a bit later on anyway. There are a stack more trees to build as we get on to more of the advanced stuff in Sky Factory 4. Um, but for now, this is pretty much gonna cover us. So. Um, okay, now we've done our diamond saplings. We're just gonna have to wait for those to grow before we can pull enough acorns off to actually make solid diamonds. And that'll be our last advancement on that tree there. Um, you need sort of, uh, what was it? Nine acorns to make a diamond. So pretty straightforward. We just need to harvest that tree enough times to, to get some, uh, some diamonds out of it. Now, moving on to the donut and bacon saplings. These ones are a bit more interesting because we actually need to craft some bacon and craft some donuts in order to make those two saplings. So, looking back at our sapling list again, uh, let's start with the bacon one. So, bacon saplings. We need an apple sapling, we need some bacon, and we need some sugar. Now, uh, sugar is an interesting one. So, sugar, we want to get some sugar cane. And in order to get um, sugar cane, we need to get some sugar seeds. Now, as it happens, I know a good way to do that. So, uh, there we go, sugar cane seeds. Now we can actually get those from the crushing tub and crushing a whole bunch of different types of leaves. So apple leaves will do just fine. So we can do that right now. So let's go and uh, grab some apple leaves from that uh, box there that we just put our diamond stuff on. So, all right, take this back over to the crushing tub. Hang on, what do I got? I've got a ton of apple leaves there. So we'll put six of them in and we should be able to get some sugar cane seeds from that pretty easy. And we've just gotten our citizen cane advancement as well. So that's given us four sugar cane seeds. That's, uh, I'll make that five, make that six. All right, fantastic. We're just gonna plant those down straight here. And uh, we can once again use that, uh, that lever trick. So we're just gonna grab our lever back out of the box here. And um, I'm gonna just dig that block of snat out and just demonstrate on this one. We don't need to do it for all three because we only need a little bit of sugarcane to make this work. So just keep flicking that lever. That sugarcane's gonna grow up nice and quickly and, uh, and we can harvest what we need, get the sugar and uh, move on to creating our bacon sapper. So there we go. And uh, you can see the sugarcane again is growing up nice and quick. So let's just harvest that. Grab a bunch of that sugarcane. Yep, fantastic. We'll grab our lever back as well because we don't need that just now. And uh, we'll just fill that up with that block of snad once again. Like we were never even there. All right. So, sugarcane equals sugar. Fantastic. We've got our sugar. Now we need to get some more bacon. Now we have our pigs over there, which we can uh, kill the poor suckers and harvest some, uh, some pig meat. Um, but in order to actually create bacon, 
we're gonna need to do something a bit different. We're gonna need to actually chop it up. So bacon, now this is funny. When I did my first playthrough of Sky Factory 4, I discovered you can actually make bacon by putting uh, pork chops into the uh, the melter and actually casting up liquid bacon into a, uh, a tool cast to create like a mold and uh, make bacon strips. Now that's way more complicated than what you need to do as it turns out because there's a much simpler way using a chopping block. So we can create ourselves a chopping block and uh, we can chop up some cooked pork chops to create our bacon. And a chopping block is very, very easy to create. We just need a bit of flint and some oak wood. So we'll grab a single piece of flint and we've already got our oak wood. So flint plus oak wood, there is our chopping block. We get two of them in fact, we don't need two. So uh, we'll just put the extra back in here. And uh, we might put our chopping block down just in front of these crushing tabs. There we go. All right, now we need our cooked pork chop, of course, to chop up into bacon. So uh, maybe avert your eyes for this bit. So I'd like to say that uh, we here at uh, Endgame Farm practice extremely humane animal practices and uh, yeah, you know how this goes. All right, anyway, so we're gonna chuck our pork chops into the furnace, make a couple of cooked pork chops and then we can chop those up on the chopping block. So just while we're waiting for that, let's uh, jump ahead and have a look at what we need for our donut saplings. So uh, we have, where are we, donut saplings. Okay, so similar to the uh, the bacon sapling, very similar in fact, we need the apple saplings, we need three donuts and we need some sugar. So we've got both of those now. Let's look at what we need to create a donut. So we actually need to create a donut with cooked dough, which we can make quite easily by cooking raw dough and raw dough is made using buckets of water and wheat. So we're gonna have to harvest a bunch of wheat. So uh, we actually get eight bits of dough from uh, four wheat and a bucket of water. So that's pretty straightforward. We can do that now. Let's grab our bucket. We'll fill that up with water and uh, we just need four wheat, which I think we've actually got already. Yes, we do in our storage cabinet there. So uh, let's go one, two, three, four, bucket of water. We've got our dough. We're gonna switch off the corked, cooked pork chops. We're gonna throw our dough in there instead. And uh, we're gonna need to repeat that a couple of times to get donuts, I think. Um, but yeah, now we've got our, where are we? Cooked pork chops. Okay, so cooked pork chops are gonna go on to the chopping block. And uh, I believe we can just do that with our Paxil. So, no, maybe just our raw hand. There we go. And we've got our bacon. No, we got our cooked pork chops back. We actually need to cut that using our, there we go actually chop it properly. All right, so there we go. We've got three bits of bacon now. So we've actually combined that with the bacon that we first started with at the very, very beginning of our, our uh, world creation. And we have one donut left over from that already as well. But with our bacon trees and our apple sapling and our sugar, we should now be able to create our bacon sapling. So one apple sapling, uh, we've got one bit of sugar, We've got three rashes of bacon and there is our bacon sapling. Fantastic. Let's go and plant that right away so that we can enjoy yummy free bacon all day, every day. So uh, back onto our dough that's cooking up nicely. I have found it very, very strange this method of uh, manufacturing donuts. Like I'm no expert on making donuts, but doesn't it make sense to make a donut out of raw dough and then cook it instead of cre creating it from the cooked dough? I don't know, it just seems strange to me. Anyway, so we have eight cooked dough. Won't surprise anybody that we need to arrange it in a circle to create donuts. And that actually gives us four donuts. That's perfect. So we've got five in total. And uh, just like with the bacon recipe, we need to take three donuts, the apple sapling and the sugar, and we craft a donut sapling. And once again, we're just gonna go and plant that straight away so we can start growing donuts out of trees. How amazing is that? All right, we are nearly done on our first tab. This is exciting. So we have worked through absolutely everything except for the last thing, which is to obtain a diamond. So to obtain diamonds, we are going to need diamond acorns. So where's our diamond saplings? Here we go. So we have four diamond acorns already from doing that. So we just need to repeat that a couple of times. 
And uh, let's just get our Apple stuff out of here, actually. We don't want that anymore. We'll organize that into another bonsai spot. We just need diamond acorns. Hopefully we're gonna get enough in this second growing. Um, our tree farm's looking a lot more colorful now. It's really, really good. We've got uh, we've got our gold, we've got our, our silver, we've got our iron, uh, a lot of our blue and red trees, really, really nice looking. And uh, we're gonna be using those to get a ton of resources once we actually get the automatic hopping pots as well. So, diamond saplings. There we go, we have nine diamond acorns. It's time. It is time to finish our first tab on the advancement chart and it is time to unlock our first prestige point. So, nine acorns equals a diamond. And there we go. We've completed the challenge. We win. We have made a huge amount of progress and completed our first tab of advancements. So, that's fantastic. Now, we're not going to spend the prestige point just now. We're going to come back to that next episode and uh, look at all the exciting things we can do with prestige unlocks for our automatic hopping bonsais. And uh, then we're going to get stuck into a little bit more of the advanced stuff. So uh, lots and lots of stuff to look forward to. Plenty more to come in this series. Uh, but that's all for now. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you have been enjoying the series, make sure you subscribe by hitting that button down below and hit that bell for notifications of when new content's going live as well. So uh, all of our other stuff you can find across at our main site at channelendgame.com. And uh, please leave a, a comment as well and leave a like. If you've been enjoying the series, I'd love to hear your feedback. I'd love to see what you want to see more of. And as we get into some of the more advanced content, if there's something in particular that you'd really love to learn about Sky Factory 4, whether it's how to organize your storage or set up your power systems or, you know, make some of the more weird and wacky contraptions, drop a comment below and uh, we'll see what people are asking for and uh, maybe I'll bump that up the priority list. But uh, that's all for now. My name's Luke. This has been Sky Factory 4. I hope you've enjoyed watching and we'll see you in the next episode.